and wherever you are listening to this telecast, the Lord God bless you in Jesus' name. We are continue from the message. This is uh, the 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 uh, volume two of the message titled "Shaping Our Future Today Through Our Children." Now, the first time I talks about uh, keep on talking. Number two point is teach your children how to love one another. Teach your children how to love one another. If we want this country, this world to be a wonderful and glorious place that God wants it to be, we must learn how to love. And how to preserve it is how to impact it into the life of our children. In the book of John 3, 16, our God who is love, who is the epitome of love, whose name is love. Everything about him is love. The Bible said, for God so loved the sinful world, the polluted world, the wicked world that he gave his, himself. And the Bible called it his only begotten son, Jesus Christ. That Jesus Christ is God himself. God came in a person, in a human form, to come and save the man he created who has deviated. You can see the love. He went to the cross of Calvary, paid the capital judgment that was hanging upon humanity. Man deviated. Because of the love he has for man, he decided to come like a human being, being carried by the same human being he carried. It's a mystery that when Mary was carrying Jesus, Jesus was as well carrying her. So it's a mystery. So for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever that believeth in him shall never perish, but shall succeed in everything he or she does. So you must teach your children how to love. Teach them how to love. Teach them how to love. Not naturally. Human being is naturally selfish. That's when you see a little child buy something and give it to him or her, stretch out your hand and ask for it, the child will say no. But at that moment, it's natural to, uh, to keep what he or she has already gotten. But you must teach him that the right way to live is to share, is to love one another, is to care for one another. So teach them how to love. In the book of Matthew chapter 22, from verse 37 to 34, a lawyer came and asked Jesus, Tell us the greatest commandment of all the commandments. Jesus said to him from verse 36 here, 37, 36, he said, Thou shalt love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your spirit. He said, This is the greatest commandment. And another one that is like the same, Thou shalt love your neighbor as you love yourself. So who is your neighbor? Your neighbor is everyone, every human being you see anywhere you go. So you must learn how to teach the children how to love, how to exhibit love to one another. If we want this nation, this our world, to be a glorious and wonderful place to be, to be habited, if we want it to be a habitable place, my brother, we must start from now, begin to teach our children how to love, how to show love, how to love, love that is agape love, not love in believing of what you are going to receive, that's give and take. No, the agape love, the unconditional love, the kind of love that God showed to us as children of God. So we must show them, teach them how to love, teach them, kill selfishness in their heart, in their lives, remove it from them, and teach them that the only way to live in a glorious world like this is to share and to love. So this is the word of God, this moment, wherever you are, love is the key for us to make it here and on the same time to make heaven. And for us to shape our future tomorrow through our children, we must teach them how to love. God bless you. Jesus' name.